Hello friends, uh, this is the very first video of my new channel, Shomu the Microbiologist. And as I told you that this channel is created to influence uh, the new generation of uh, all the students from Zoology, Microbiology, Biotechnology field in the field of research because we have a lag between uh, what we learn in theory and what we apply during our practice of research and there is a huge gap in India and actually research is never being uh, into the mainstream uh, in India so what I want to do here this is the first channel in India and probably uh, the first channel I haven't checked it yet uh, which is going to influence you into real world experience of research and how to design experiments how to search papers how to do background study so I'll be I'll be showing you everything every single details setting up a lab if you because you know many as as many students are passing out every single year uh, there is very less job so if you have uh, entrepreneurship in your mind thinking of that you can set up a lab and can continue it as a business so we are going to help you in all these things okay and probably if it's possible that we are going to make a bridge course between your study and the practice that's a future plan but for now on I'm going to give you a personal tour to my small scale but yet effective microbiology laboratory it's not totally set yet but uh, just for the first video because people ask for first video so I'm going to put it here so this is actually my penthouse and in this case uh, this is out of reach of my normal residence uh, there's a there's my garden outside this is where I actually do the gym work and all you can see the uh, the cycle and all but I just clear it out and I put some machines in here and some machines still yet to come uh, so what we actually need as a as a like laboratory as a microbiology lab or biotech lab are many instruments and actually it's expensive normally when I uh, when I checked and found out that what things we need for making a microbiology lab uh, you, you you need an autoclave you need a bacteriological incubator you need a laminar airflow the, the workstation where you're going to actually do the sterile environment to work with cultures and you need uh, the weighing scale and you need uh, a fridge a refrigerator obviously and then you also need many more things like you know uh, for electrophoresis and all those things I haven't purchased it yet but most of the basic things I've already purchased and already set it up uh, so this is what I'm going to show you now regarding all the different things you can clearly see this is the setup I actually put them in the bottom here you can see uh, I have uh, the fridge uh, this is the fridge this is the incubator and this is the autoclave which I, I placed in so I'm going to show you all these things in details so this this area I put a few things which are in contact with uh, like microbes for example autoclave is in there because obviously you put autoclave always out of your reach so I put it outside the BOD like the bacteriological incubator where actually the microbes will be cultivated is placed outside and the fridge is also there because I'm going to store the cultures for, for future use. And I also have a portable air conditioner here because to control the environmental temperature, it's a portable air conditioner. So this is one uh, room. There are three different segments of uh, my lab. This is one segment. The second segment that I have is inside my, uh, my room. And uh, this is my penthouse room inside. And this is where I record uh, many videos. So this is my lab actually. I, I actually bought every single thing uh, from the autoclave, uh, the bacteriological incubator as well as uh, the fridge, uh, the weighing scale and everything raw but the laminar airflow is the most costly thing in this case but what I do here I build a lab, a work environment with the help of very simple tools I'll tell you how to do that uh, you'll be amazed and surprised because I've seen many colleges still don't have laminar airflow but they still teach microbiology and all the other subjects so for those places I'm going to show you how to make one under 12,000 rupees normally a laminar airflow the very cheap one is 55,000 good one 70,000 to 80,000 even more than 1 lakh rupees out there for, for two people working station single people 70,000 55 to 70,000 rupees but here I'm using HEPA filter it's a very good reviewed MI HEPA filter that I'm using here and uh, what I just do I just build a laminar airflow with the help of the HEPA filter and with the help of a UV chamber a UV light that I purchased from Amazon so everything I'll, I'll guide you how to make this but remember believe it or not I've tested it with my cultures with my samples with open air method 
and it worked out superb it worked quite very very well i am myself surprised with the result so you can use it for 12000 rupees this is the only thing that i make as a gimmick rest of the thing and this is also light in here because you, i can turn it on if i turn it on you can see the light is on and uh, there is another light the green color light this is the indication if this light is red that means the air is not that pure uh, if it's orange then moderate and if it's green mean it's okay so there's a uv in this side and uh, before opening up and before opening up this door we are going to uh, turn the uv on uh, for 10 15 minutes then we are going to turn on this and air is coming in you cannot see that when the air is coming in but i can show you the bottom this is from this is where the air is coming in filtered air and this is the hepa filter 360 degree hepa filter is there from all the places you can see it's a hepa filter so inside the hepa and carbon both filters are present not only hepa but hepa and carbon filter both can filter pollutants and you can work here pretty well with the good results so this is what i build only rest of the things i bought I'll, i'm going to show you all these things now okay so i'm going to change uh, the uh, orientation now so this is where i put my uh, laminar airflow machine and the third section of my work is my imaging center the imaging center means the microscope and the microscopy center the center is different in my office uh, in the second floor so this is a three floor system the third floor i have all these things in the second floor i have the imaging center and uh, the first floor is the residential uh, complex so i'll be showing you the imaging but before that i'm going to show you what instruments i have in this uh, third floor okay so here we go we have this first thing first this is the autoclave that i bought and uh, the cost of this autoclave is 6000 near about 5500 plus gst and you can clearly see this is the pressure gauze that is uh, that is given okay normal it's a surgical autoclave but it works quite well for me i can put the lid off and you can clearly see okay see all the sections are, are there uh, it's big enough to uh, you know to do the research of like a pilot scale research that i'm going to do it's completely okay here are the safety valves and it's connected to a 15 ampere switch these are some distilled water i haven't purchased the distilled water facility because distilled water is now available at very cheaper cost 120 rupees a jar of 5 liter and a normal machine of distilled water normally cost around uh, 2600 rupees and which, which is going to give you distillation of water of 250 milliliters per hour of 100 watt power so that's why i find more feasible to buy uh, ready-made distilled water you can easily get it from your lab supply store or even in the battery shop now the second item here outside is the bacteriological incubator so this is the bacteriological incubator that i bought which is small scale bacteriological incubator uh, which is off right now i can turn it on uh, sorry let me turn it on from this okay so here you can see the the, the light is on in this case okay and you can see uh, if i open it up this is inside okay so it's not bad it's not bad i can put uh, i think as many culture plates i can put here in the top in the bottom i can put my uh, broth cultures everything this is my switch systems that i built and these are some lab glass was that's that's definitely something that you should always buy and this is the fridge this is a refrigerator very small one but it uh, works sufficiently for me uh, it's nothing nothing in there right now because i haven't started using it I had this fridge from before, so I am going to use it for my purpose. Okay, so this is something uh, that I, will, uh, I I I may require later on. Okay, and the glass wires, it is conical uh, test tubes, culture tubes are out there, and everything bol borosilicate. You can buy either borosil or you can buy the normal um, silicate uh, tubes, which are both work uh, approximately like, quite well for the purpose of your your work because they can withstand that 120 degree celsius temperature for uh, 15 minutes at uh, the higher pressure so it's quite well so these things are already there okay so you need these things these are the basic things uh, near about 6000 rupees autoclave the bod incubator 6500 and a fridge uh, 7500 these are the three costs and as i told you this is the AC which I already have from before. It's not mandatory thing, but normally in lab you need a cooler temperature in uh, the warmer work conditions because this place is made up with this 
this kind of uh, steel thing so obviously it will be very hot during the summer time so to work here I need this AC it's 26,000 that's a separate thing okay you may need it you may not need it it's a different uh, situation so that's the fridge you may not need it you may need it it's up to you so this is the normal setup I have on the top okay now I'm going to take you to my imaging room where I put the microscope and rest of the things okay uh, so now I'm going to show you my imaging center this is actually my office where I record my videos this is the whiteboard where I record my videos actually so it's very congested out here because I put my imaging center in here then this is the imaging center I think you can clearly see that in my videos also you you're going to see this imaging center and this is the staining center where I need the basin which is fitted here I'm going to show you uh, with the help of the front camera how it's actually going to look like okay so you can see this is the imaging center and uh, this is my microscope it's ESO microscope uh, with uh, it's a trinocular microscope we have a binocular thing for the vision and uh, we also have this this uh, 5 megapixel CMOS sensor uh, camera this is what I need and it is connected to this computer and this is where we will see all the images and we're going to take the video because we're going to do a lot of live imaging as well as uh, fixed imaging techniques that's where we're going to have these are some Tarson micro pipette uh, tip holder for uh, you know autoclave and all uh, like after autoclave we are going to use that in future times and these are some Tarson micro pipette tips for small tips these are Tarson's uh, vials okay uh, small vials and uh, we also have uh, some micro pipettes here you need to buy them micro pipettes 100 so one is 100 to 1000 microliter this one is uh, 10 to 100 micro microliter and this third one is sorry the third one is 5 to 50 microliter so it supplies all the work that i'm going to do and this is a very important device this is a uh, like lighter that I need for heat fixing things because I'm not going to use any channel lighter system in here I also have some dissection uh, tool kits for like for mounting slides I've already prepared some of the slides uh, the video of which I'm going to upload very soon you can see these are some slides that I mounted uh, some of the slides particularly blood slides blood sample or you know onion root tip mitosis and all and I have some ready-made slides as well from different companies to see how they work and how they are going to look like and these are some stains that I put uh, in the vials so that I can use them in future but these are the actual section of the stains that I have I have crystal violet I have uh, iodine solution saffronine all for the gram stain the neosin the methylene blue then again this is uh, Lishman's eosin again uh, from different places formalin alcohol obviously very very important and uh, distilled water saline water one normal HCL and this one is uh, the cedarwood oil and uh, this is again the DPX for mounting the slides and cotton swabs and all these things that small things that you need uh, to actually have an imaging facility so if I show you the imaging facility from this side you're going to see this is my microscope I love my microscope to work with uh, so this is almost uh, all and uh, two more uh, instruments that I have here is one this weighing scale uh, and these are the media Luria broth right now I have only two media Luria broth and nutrient dagger which is going to suffice my all my work that I'm going to do and uh, this is the weighing scale where I'm going to weigh I can take it off and and put things and weigh it. I also have butter papers for the purpose I have a centrifuge not a micro centrifuge I cannot afford it it's a big centrifuge with the bigger vials but I have a policy I have a, I have a technique to use this big centrifuge for even small uh, vials uh, like the Tarsen small vials so I can use them for centrifuge using this big thing I have a technique for that also I'll discuss about that later on and one more thing that I haven't shown you here is this the color emitter that I also need to take readings and OD I, ha I don't have that much of, a, of space right now to put them in a clear way that's why I put them in any places I, I like I, I'm, I'm going to rearrange this place a little bit but I need bigger watch station to work with in future times for the purpose of this this whole whole lab uh, environment 
so what i'm going to do actually i'm going to show you like most of the microscopy videos and then we are also going to talk about the bacteriology and how we're going to culture things and the techniques of the lab of microbiological laboratory okay so that's what we're going to do later on so this is all about it uh, this is about uh, almost like this is the third part as we saw the imaging facility so three facilities i already shown you the imaging facility the the lab facility for uh, autoclave and incubator and all and we also showed you the facility for culture like uh, the working environment the laminar airflow so with all these facilities we can do wonders and i believe that you can do some good work with the help of some small facilities as well and for this total setup i invested near about approximately 60000 rupees which uh, earlier i take an estimate of 3 lakh rupees to to set it up but it's 60000 rupees you can set all these things up and you are going to see what kind of experiment we can perform with the help of this 50 60000 rupees facility and i'm going to show you some good results with the help of that because my idea and my vision for this channel is to create some important uh, key at some things that people that make people realize that you can do wonder with the help of even smaller facilities i remember jc bose started a lab in his own house and he have done so much good things and so many important inventions in that place if you believe in yourself and if you design a proper experiment with the help of that limited resources you can do wonders so we're going to do that hopefully you'll be staying with me throughout this journey so that's all about the very first video of this channel. I believe I'm going to get the support that I got for my Shomus Biology channel. So hopefully we're going to work together side by side. I have very limited time, but I'll work one day at least a week, two day at least a week uh, to make videos and to continue my research work as well in this field. So thank you everyone. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video and subscribe because it's a new channel. I need subscribe. I need subscription to go and uh, to share it with your friends. Thank you. Bye.